Hey there, folks. It is game two between Liquid Tasia and Acer's Innovation. So impressed when Acer picked up Innovation, too. I didn't think that they were going to be able to pull off that kind of a, a power move when it comes to major sports, esports stars. Um, but they have a pretty good team. I really, really enjoy watching that with MMA and Scarlet under their banner. Game one, we just concluded watching their really smart tactical kind of game. We saw Tasia take a great lead up an economy. Did a lot of damage with an early tank push with marines, but then he just gave up on air control and moved straight into bio and medevacs, and he got himself pinned into his base, and we just saw these banshees from innovation able to just tear apart Tasia's tank line, and once that was done, just bum rushed him with tons and tons of hellions, and the game was essentially done. Almost got into a bit of a base trade for a moment. We see cheese. Let's see what kind of cheese. Looks like it could be an 11-11 racks. Uh, the first racks is going to be slightly off timing, but very, very slightly. Only, only about you know three seconds. And so yeah, we're going to have an 11-11 racks out of Tasia, and why not? Tasia is very often known as somebody who plays a very straightforward macro-style game. He's got such great control and mechanics. There's not very often a reason for him to not uh, just play that way and go for the late game but up against Innovation, who might think that he can get away with uh, a more economy-focused build again. Well, actually, looks like he will be going Reapers. 11 11 racks might be able to get a lot of... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting over cold. I get a lot of damage in. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I got off my cold in just essentially a couple of days. Powered through it with a lot of staying warm. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mmm. Caffeine must not be agreeing with me. I actually see that orbital command going down really good, so very polished 11-11 racks. A lot of the times you see amateurs go for this. They have to cut so many corners, sacrifice, getting out that orbital. The trick now is uh, control, because it is... I thought it was going to be Reaper play. It's actually two racks, well, racks right into a very early factory. So it looks like it's going to be for very early a Banshees on this side of things. Hmm. Working on some caffeine right now. It's going to keep me going. Actually going to wait for a few more units before he goes in. And I don't think he needs to. I think with the kind of production he has. And these SCVs. That he should be able to get in here just fine. See the cancel on the other gas. Going to try and get that bunker up. But I think that's a little bit too close. He's actually managed to keep his SCVs alive as well during this. We see the innovation's plan here is he's got to hold the bottom of the ramp. Enough time for this bunker to get down. Oh, and he is going to have to cancel it too. This is this is just GG. This is way too many Marines. Um, innovation just caught in a bit of a greedy tech build. Didn't have out any units, any protection, any scouting. He does have out a Hellion. We see that split there from Tasia. Trying to take as little damage in a line as possible. Now, so this kind of got held off, but you'll notice there's no workers left at all. Um, this is kind of weird. He's rallying away. Uh, this is just because he wants to make sure he doesn't get bum rushed back at home. So he spent a bit of money just to make sure that back at home uh, he can get himself down a bit of protection. Innovation's not giving up. Even though he's down by 11 workers at this point. Uh, never give up, I suppose. It will be a while before uh, Tasia can really just walk up here and breach this. Hellions are good against Marines, obviously. But there's nothing to repair them and they're pretty fragile, right? They're just going to get pretty beat up. So he's going to have to try to use these Hellions as best as possible. Kite against the Marines coming in. He's just going to keep building more marines. It's going to take way too long. And if innovation comes down the ramp, he could run the risk of getting caught out there with nothing back at home. I think that maybe a widow mine might be pretty good, but the widow mine doesn't really offer you any mobility. The hellions are going to give you that opportunity to just, you know, still be defensive but potentially offensive. And we can see that's exactly what he's considering doing: is just running around the map. It's not too often that back at home at 11-11 racks, you can have defenses up. But we can see that's already the case. Barracks is going to go into scout. And I don't think that uh, 
Yeah, I was about to say, I think that Tasia might be able to just come and rumble with these guys a bit. Oh, Innovation gets caught with some bad control, not paying attention to his Marines. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a nice little GG, essentially. Tasia did run up that ramp. He wants to make sure he guts up the ramp and gets on top of the production buildings. And, uh, well, give it to Innovation. He doesn't want to give up. You know, as tough as it might seem. The Hellions are, there we go, I would say that's, even if he killed those Marines, back at home the tech is going up, he'd probably be moving into Banshees or even his own Hellions. He's got lots and lots of gas, so I would assume the Banshees might be the play he'd go for. Great game out of Tasia, it's nice to throw in cheeses once in a while just to throw your opponents off. So going into game 3, tied up 1-1, and we'll see who can take the series.